Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Jason Voorhees hidden away. Forest Cabin from the movie Friday the 13th. If you enjoy this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. And if you make it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend. But I think it's time for me to get out of here before Jason shows up. Let's get started. Now, before we begin building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using. As you can see, there are a lot of them. The cabin is very, very random in nature, so that's why we need all of these things. Please make sure that you have access to all of them, and once you do have them all, we can begin. So, the first thing that I am going to do, now that I have picked out a spot for my cabin, all the way in the woods here, which is kind of perfect, I'm going to start off with a row of five red terracotta coming up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. And I'm going to take the bottom of that row and extend it forwards by two. One, two. I'm going to place an oak door. Right of that door, I'm going to place a red terracotta. One on top of it. I'm going to place an upside down quartz stairs to the right. White stained glass pane above. I want to go left of the first initial red terracotta and place two cyan terracotta going left. Connect down to the ground. We're then going to place red terracotta directly left of all of the cyan. I'm going to extend the red terracotta upwards right, up, and then I'm going to fill in this gap between all of the window and the top of the cabin, and I'm just going to connect it back like this. We're then going to place oak wood plank left of the red terracotta here at the bottom, and I'm going to place one, two, three, four, just like that. And this is actually the side of the cabin, that's the right side. That is the entrance. The front of the cabin is going to come across to the left here. And I'm going to begin by placing five red terracotta coming left of this oak plank. One, two, three, four, five. And then going to go up by three. One, two, three. Connect right, extend down, and cut the area in half directly up the middle. Place upside down quartz stairs in the empty spaces at the bottom, with glass pane just above them. Left of this area, I'm going to place a vertical row of light grey concrete. Left of that, I'm going to place a vertical row of cyan terracotta. I'm going to take the bottom block and extend it left. Then I'm going to place a row of two light grey concrete going left. And then up by three. One, two, three. Inside of this shape, I'm placing two upside down quartz stairs at the base with white stained glass pane coming up to meet the height of the rest of the wall. Left of this area, you can place a row of... We'll, we'll go with another row of light grey concrete, but it doesn't matter that much because in front of this row, we're going to take the bottom and we'll place two red terracotta in front. One, two. And then we're going to place a light blue terracotta in front of that and then another red terracotta. Extend the this end red terracotta upwards to equal the height of the rest of the build. Extend the light blue terracotta upwards as well, and fill in the remaining area using cyan terracotta. So you can see it didn't really matter what we made that first initial row out of, other than for the inside. Next, we want to build the little 
bit at the front left of the cabin. So that means that we've got to extend this row to the left by one using an entire row of red terracotta. We then want to place four rows of cyan terracotta going left of the bottom. One, two, three, four. Add another row on top. And then add two rows of red terracotta on top of this. Like so. Then we're going to come around the side here. And we are going to take this row here of cyan terracotta and we're going to place red terracotta behind and I'll tell you what I'm actually gonna get rid of the door that we have for a moment because we use green wool in this part uh, I want to place green wool above the red terracotta and I want to extend that green wool backwards by an entire row and then left also just like that yeah and then underneath the part under here we're going to place grey concrete the dark one and then we're going to place two rows of light grey concrete one two coming back on top of this part here we're going to place red terracotta oak wood plank on top left by one using oak planks we place a light grey on top of that and then we place ourselves red terracotta behind that and then we're going to place two rows of glass one two coming backwards and then i'm going to place red terracotta on top of the glass and then i'm going to extend that to the left by one place another oak plank and then i'm going to place some cyan terracotta the cyan terracotta I'm going to extend almost all the way down to the ground except for the bottom block which is red terracotta and what I also want to do is extend the oak planks all the way down to the ground as well. I want to place underneath the window I want to add another layer of glass and then underneath that I'm actually going to place oak planks which is becoming increasingly difficult I'm going to then a material that I don't have I'm, I'm going to get rid of what can I get rid of for a bit we kind of need loads of stuff I'm going to get rid of the stairs for a sec and I'm going to grab the magenta terracotta and I'm going to place that underneath the oak planks and I'm going to extend left and right like this Left of the window, I'm going to place cyan terracotta. And right of the window in this gap, I'm going to place light blue terracotta. Like that. So you can see it's kind of a... And it's really difficult to see as well because we've got this tree in the way. That's what you get for building a shack in the forest. Well, that's what we want to end up with anyway. That's the look of this side of the cabin. We're not quite finished though because there is a bit more detail. I want you to extend all green carpet blocks or green wall blocks as they are outwards by one then we're going to wrap the green uh, wall around the front of the build like this and we're going to take the top and we're going to extend it all the way to the right except for these last two blocks so that's the sort of look that we're going for now, as we come to the back of the build, we just have to join up the back of the cabin now, which should hopefully be a bit easier. Let us start from the right, because this is where we were building from last time. I want you to extend the red terracotta inwards and the cyan terracotta inwards as well. Starting from the bottom, I want you to place one, two, three oak wood planks on top of each other with two red terracotta on top. We're going to place an entire row of red terracotta left of this. And then we want to place two rows of red terracotta coming left of the bottom. Add another row on top. And then add three rows of light grey concrete above this coming up towards the top of the cabin. Add an entire row of oak planks left of this. And then starting from the bottom... I want you to place two cyan terracotta going left, add another row on top, increase the size of the right side by one, 
and place two red terracotta on top. And place three oak wood planks on the left side here. Place two red terracotta going left of the bottom. And then we're going to need the stairs back again. And we're going to place upside down quartz stairs above the red terracotta. And then two rows of glass above the stairs. Red terracotta above the windows. And also directly left of the windows, linking them to the ground. We're then going to place two entire rows of light grey concrete coming up whoops, from the ground here, all the way up to the top. And then we're going to add an entire row of red terracotta. And then an entire row of cyan terracotta. So the effect that we're looking for should look exactly like this which is perfect and since we are on the back of the build at the moment I think we should add details to the back of the build specifically so for the back of the build we're going to need some oak wood planks out we need oak fence spruce trap doors and both of the buttons so I want to place a row of one two three four oak wood planks in this position one block away from the end I want you to place spruce trapdoors above the first three blocks. And I want to place oak fence to the right of the oak wood planks, coming up as high as the window. We're going to place some stone buttons in the metallic areas, just coming out of the metal parts, meaning that, you know, the grey parts pretty much. And if you like, you can place a couple of wooden buttons coming out of the uh, out of the oak plank parts. I'm going to dip to the right of the build now, and we can add some details to here. On this side of the build, there's not that much. All we have to do is add two oak fence in front of these bottom light grey concretes here. And then if you want to proceed to perhaps add a couple of buttons all over the place, then feel free to. As we dip around to the front of the build here, on the front, we have to add a vertical row of oak fence coming up like this to support that part of the build. Oh, and again, like if you want to do some, some stone buttons, then feel free to as well. Like, you know, wherever you feel necessary. On the front of the build here, left of this window, we're going to place a spruce trap door and one underneath. And again, like if you ever want to place buttons anywhere, then that's that's definitely a design choice that can be done. On this side of the build, specifically with the, the door, I'm going to place a button as kind of like a little door handle. And that's pretty much it. Now I want to do the roof and that sort of stuff. Uh, so for the roof, it's made out of a few different things. We might need some green wall, stone slams, green carpet. We'll even need some banners for the next part as well. And that might be it. Maybe grab some yellow carpet and some brown too. Okay, so the roof is, is really quite simple, I suppose. Um, we're going to start by placing a row of stone slams directly above the top half of the cabin here on the front right side. And I'm going to extend the stone slabs out the side of the cabin, and then back, up, back, up, back, up, all the way back. I'm going to extend across, and then I'm going to extend forwards. And by the way, we're hanging off of the building by one row. And then we can start to do a similar thing. So like when we reach above the window here, down, forwards, down, forwards, and then down. And you'll actually connect to the, uh, to the green uh, wall. And we're just going to slip in a row of stone slabs that kind of comes around the top of the front of the cabin as well like that. And then you can connect the stone slabs together. Um, left to right. If you just focus on the raised part for now, then we can add a few further details um, in a second. So just fill in above here, just above where the actual living space of the cabin, the long part of the cabin, 
uh, as it is, just fill the top of that in using stone slabs. And then when it comes to this part of the cabin, I mean, you've got a different, uh, a different uh, sort of thing going on here. You can just fill this little part in using stone slabs as well. But the majority of the top of here is going to be green carpet. We're just going to hang some green carpet up here because this is actually like fabric hanging off of the edge of the cabin. And then a lot of the cabin has loads of fallen leaves and stuff on it. Because it's, it's out in the forest, it's that sort of the time of the year. So you can use a lot of uh, brown and yellow and oranges and greens to kind of like simulate leaves on the top of the cabin if you like. And obviously you would still have metal showing as well. There's more fabric hanging off of the cabin. So I'm going to use some white banners hanging off the front corner here to simulate that. And additionally a cyan banner here as well. I'm not going overboard with them. I'm also going to place where possible, there's a couple of places like you'll be able to place some yellow carpets and brown carpets here, just like that, just hanging off of the cabin. Again, it's like fallen leaves. And if you like, you can even uh, use the same sort of effect around the floor of the cabin in the surrounding area as well. So to simulate falling leaves, the best thing I, we can really use is carpet because there's no other material that's like flat like carpet is and I, I don't know it's, it's got kind of like a, a cool little effect. I'm hoping it doesn't look weird but this uh, you know that's it is what it is if you were to google like um, Jason Friday the four, uh, 13th cabin Friday the 14th doesn't sound as bad does it that's what I almost said. Um, then you'll find a lot of fallen leaves surrounding the cabin and uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of just what you see, it's just that time of the year. Which doesn't make sense because we're surrounded by spruce trees in this world in particular, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. And it just makes it look a lot messier. And speaking of messy, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, that's kind of our next job. So now we have to add some grass path, so we need a shovel. Pods are, we're going to use double tall grass, regular tall grass. Um, this sort of stuff in particular, plus we'll need some signs later on to kind of mess up the area surrounding. So I'm just going to add a couple of pods all around the front of the building, and the point of this is to add some dead bushes. But not only will dead bushes grow on pods all, ladies and gentlemen, but um, grass will as well. So just in a few select places, wherever you feel as though it'd enhance it, add some dead bushes, you want to add some grass. And uh, you're just going to want to cover up uh, a little bit of the green, basically, is all you're doing. Is There we go. Just like this, you know? And I'm also going to diamond shovel the area. I, I say diamond shovel, but any, you know, any shovel will do. Or you can get the actual um, specific block. And if you just kind of like grasp half the area surrounding, it makes it look a lot better, in my opinion. Like, uh, you'll be able to see the difference after I've done it. But the last little bit of detail that I'm also going to do amongst these two things is I'm going to add signs behind the windows in the house. All of the windows are kind of boarded up in the house. So I figured the best way to simulate this is possibly some signs on the back of the glass. And there is quite a few uh, windows on the house so or cabin whatever you want to say okay it's a it's a house it's a home and yeah you can kind of see the effect that you get from them makes it kind of like creepy right it's a bit airy this place but i'm hoping that you guys have enjoyed this because what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to mess up the area a little bit more some dead bushes grass and um, i'm going to shovel the area too and i'll be back to show you what it looks like but this is pretty much the tutorial block for the lot part completed. So this is what the cabin will look like once it has been 100% fully completed. Messing up the area really does make it a lot creepier and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me out so, so much. If you have made it all the way to the end, please share the video with a friend. Sharing is caring. And if you want to make any more creepy bases and creepy houses like this one, then please check out the card system and the description below, that's the best place to find them. 
I'm going to go before Jason shows up. Now that he's got a house, I think he's going to show up. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.